Want to see something cool? Those of us old enough to always hear a specific song start playing in our head when certain songs end on the radio remember when just about every young boy, yes, only boys, because it was the dark ages before anyone figured out that girls can be nerds too. If you don't think this is still a thing, go count how many women you find at your local ham radio club. Got one of those craptacular walkie-talkies with the specific level of cheap that they had that Morse code chart on the side? Well, we live in the future now, and the cheap walkie-talkies got way better along the way. These things are stupid cheap and surprisingly capable if you're either smart enough to use the USB cable or masochistically patient enough to figure out how to program them by hand. Guys, it's the 21st century. Why is the user interface on these still stuck in the 80s? You suck at your job. Now, with Chirp and a radio reference account, you can program one of these in 10 minutes and listen to all kinds of stuff. Cheap. Welcome. Channel mode. Get your license, which is about as cheap as one of these radios, and you can talk as well. Amateur radio is one of those gateways of wonder and inspiration for any curious kid. There's a nebulous magic to radio that just isn't found in other mediums. The big boy toys in this genre are priced out of reach for normal people like us, but these cheap little handhelds and their SDR cousins that we're going to talk about later are accessible to most anyone. No matter what your rig costs, we all listen on the same spectrum, and that's pretty cool.